I know that there's been a, a certain amount of uh, speculation over the last few weeks as to why and how I've come to be giving a talk entitled 15 points for Buddhist parents. Perhaps some of you may have thought that parents, Buddhist or otherwise, had quite enough points to consider already. <laughs> But uh, perhaps I should just mention by way of introduction how I did come to, uh, to draw up this list of 15 points. I just happened to be sitting, as I so often do sit, at my desk in my flat, not very far away from here. And I happened to be working on my current volume of memoirs. And it may be that I did just happen to think in that connection of my 15, in fact my two sets of 15 points for order members, which some of you may have seen. Be that as it may, for some reason which I don't quite find myself able to explain, there floated into my mind the idea of 15 points for Buddhist parents, or rather a point floated into my mind. Eh? So I just broke off from working on my memoirs and thought, I better write this down. So I wrote down point one. Then I thought, oh, there's another point. <laughs> but then I thought, oh, well, there's only a, a third point again floated into my mind. And by some strange coincidence, and it really was a coincidence because I didn't count them up until afterwards, I found in the end I had 15 points, neither more nor less for Buddhist parents. Well, this was some time last year. I put them aside. They got lost on my desk, as so many things tend to get lost on my desk nowadays. But uh, just a few weeks ago I happened to unearth them and I thought, well, you know, I've made these 15 points, maybe I should make some use of them. Perhaps I could even give a little talk about them, just for a few people around the, the LBC, because after all, there are a few parents around, Buddhist parents, they might be interested in hearing about these 15 points. So I consulted Dhammarati, he being then of course the, the, the chairman of the, the LBC, and he thought, well yes, yes, some people might be interested, we could just have it, you know, one day in the reception area of the, you know, the LBC. So we agreed upon that and then of course I thought, well, 15 points for Buddhist parents, why not perhaps let the parents raise questions themselves? Let's have a question and answer session. In other words, that is also what we're going to be having this afternoon, as you already know. So this is how my 15 points for Buddhist parents came into existence and how it is that I now am talking to you on that subject. So, from what I've already said you'll understand that this isn't really a lecture or not even a, a talk in the ordinary sense. Uh, Malika has referred to it as an informal talk. Well, you could describe it in those terms. Huh? But I must say, I feel a little embarrassed even that, that so many people have turned up for such a little informal talk. <laughs> I can't help really wondering why. Hmm? But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to say something about each of these 15 points that I've tabulated. And I have to warn you that I'm not going to deal with them very systematically. I haven't tried to rearrange them in any order. Hmm? I'm going to talk about them just as I jotted them down on that day, now quite a few uh, months ago. And not only are they not systematically arranged, I'm sure they're not complete. I'm sure that there are other points that could be, be thought of by or for Buddhist parents. And perhaps when we have the questions and answers in the, in the afternoon, more points will in any case emerge. And I must also warn you that there's going to be a bit of overlap between some of the points. It's understandable that you can't keep points of this kind 
quite separate, in quite distinct, separate compartments. Eh? I'm also incidentally not going to go into the question, certainly not in this talk, of whether one should or should not have children. I'm sort of taking it as a sort of established fact that <laughs> some people have them. Whether you, whether you had them wisely or unwisely, I'm not going into that this morning. Huh? I'm, I'm taking it as a fact that children have arrived on the scene, that you, you all are Buddhist parents, and that therefore you're concerned with the fact of being a Buddhist parent. And, as the meeting itself shows, uh, are quite interested huh, in anything of that nature. 